You caught your girlfriend lying about hooking up with other people before you were in an exclusive relationship? This is Radical Self-Respect with Jared Mello. I have an ebook and an audio book by the same name. If you like content about Radical Self-Respect, please do subscribe. Maybe share my content with others that you think might benefit. And remember to give this video a like if you do indeed like it. Also comment on this guy's scenario I'm going to discuss because that's what today's video is going to be. It's a relationship dilemma, we'll call it, from one of my supporters. And he would like other people's input too, but I'm going to give my radical self-respect perspective on his situation. And if anyone else has other relationship situations or dilemmas they want my suggestions about and to learn what I think the radical self-respect way is in that scenario, please do send them over to my email that's in the description. Well, without further delay here, let's get into this guy's uh, dilemma, I guess we'll call it. So this guy was dating a girl for a few months, and one thing he did that I'm not thrilled about was he initiated the exclusivity in a relationship. Part of the radical self-respect way is letting the woman always be the one who asks for commitment. I find this is more helpful because that way you know the woman is absolutely invested in you. I know the other side of this argument is, well, a man that knows what he wants and is going to take charge will ask for the commitment. But in my experience, that has never gone as well as when the woman was the one asking me. And usually what would happen is we'd be drinking or something, and then finally the woman would be upset and be like, all right, what are we, Jared? What is this? And that's her asking for a commitment. And as a guy, I think we'd rather be in that scenario because it shows we have more emotional strength than the woman. So the woman, they're probably wanting us to ask, but I think it's helpful to have them ask. But that's just a minor aside here to what actually happened in the scenario. So they were going out, things were going really great, they were happy together, exclusive, and unfortunately, the woman had a miscarriage at some point in the relationship. And she was using Instagram on his phone, and he got a gut feeling to check her phone. Now, this is another flag we're going to put here, where just the fact that we're having a gut feeling to check someone's phone, that's also a red flag. And see my video where I said, if you look into her phone, or into her phone you go, only pain will you find. And unfortunately, in this scenario, that is absolutely true for this guy. So he got this gut feeling to check her phone, which that means maybe something else is going on at this point, too, because those gut feelings, they're not very good. And so he checks her phone and he sees on Instagram that before they were dating or before they were exclusive, while they were dating, she was talking to other dudes talking about sexual things, and he even stumbled across her ex-boyfriend. And he reached out to her ex-boyfriend and was like, okay, what's going on with you and her? And the ex-boyfriend told him that they were hooking up into uh, mid to late April, and he actually thought the new guy had stolen his girl. So this woman probably at a point there was talking to and sleeping with both of them, if not others as well. And she eventually chose the guy that reached out to me. But then what happens is the guy asked the girl about when this happened with the ex-boyfriend, and she lied about it. She lied about it and said nothing had happened since February, but in fact, it had happened in mid to late April. So there's a bunch of stuff going on here. Now, again, just the fact that he had the feeling to go into the phone, that bad gut feeling, that's a warning. And I, would not, I wouldn't suggest looking into people's phones, but in this scenario, it might not have been the worst thing that he did. But the fact that we want to signifies that our spidey sense is up, something's going on with the trust, and maybe she's, maybe she's doing something else. Who knows at that point? But that feeling's a, a warning. It's a red flag indicator. And then some people may say, well, she did all this before the relationship. And so why does it matter? 
But to me, it's the trust that matters. And that's where a lot of women don't understand in this scenario. They'll say something like, well, I didn't want to hurt him with the truth, or it's none of his business what we did before we were exclusive. But that doesn't, that's not the point. The point is the trust is way more valuable than sparing someone's feelings. To me, I would much rather hear that the truth, the bitterest truth is better than the sweetest lie. So even if I find out that, okay, you were sleeping with this other guy while we were dating, so be it. At least you told me the truth and at least I can still trust you moving forward. But once she lied about it, then this guy had a really tough time with it because he knew she was lying. And then a couple things happened after that. She had said, oh, well, I have a lot of trauma from the miscarriage and I had a car accident in early April, so that's causing me to forget the truth. That's all garbage, honestly, that's garbage. And then also she was saying how, oh, you hate me now. You hate me now that you lost the trust. And she's like, it's not like I'm trying to hurt you. You act like I'm trying to hurt you. But again, if you don't want to hurt someone, you tell them the truth. Even if you think the truth might hurt them, tell them the truth because that's going to ruin everything if you are not honest about it, especially in the early stages of the relationship here. They're only, if they started in April and weren't exclusive May 9th is when it was, and now here we are in the beginning of August, this is still a new relationship. So the radical self-respect way, we'd probably take it a little more slow. They, they sped up through the process here, but once a woman lies like this, There's no more foundation. There's no more foundation of a happy relationship. And you can say what you want about her sleeping with him before they were exclusive. It's certainly not ideal. It's not ideal. But he didn't find out about any of that stuff until after they were exclusive. And again, if she's just honest with him about it, maybe he doesn't have this terrible feeling about it now. Maybe he's still able to actually have fun with her and do things with her. But in the meanwhile... She's reaching out to him, telling him, I, I love you, I, please come back, please come back. But for him, the trust is broken. And I think Lady Gaga said, once the trust is broken, it's like a crack in a mirror. You can fix the mirror, but you're always going to see that crack in the reflection. And that's what happens here. And ladies, if you're watching this, the truth is so important, especially when it comes to dating and hooking up with other people. I'd much rather hear the truth, because at least at that point, we're on stable ground. We can understand one another. But when you lie about it, and then we find out that that's not the truth, what can you have with someone after that? It's done. It's done. Once the trust is gone, there's nothing that can be done. The radical self-respect way is you got to have trust if you're going to be in a relationship. So the big three things that went down here, her lying about hooking up with other people. He had a miscarriage. That's another big one. And him, I would have said to him, don't be the one to ask for the commitment first. Let her do that. Perhaps for this very reason, because we don't know someone right away. I think he asked for commitment a little after a month since they had started dating. And to me, that's too soon. That's too soon because we don't know someone. We're not going to know someone until we've been with them for a while, at least six months to a year, because we just don't know. People can hide their red flags in the beginning. People can wear masks in the beginning. And so I'm not in a rush to ask for commitment. And I usually prefer for the woman to ask for a commitment. And then once they're in the commitment, he got the gut feeling to check her phone. And if into her phone you go, only pain will you find. And surely that was true in this scenario. So he found some pain confronted her about it, talked to her ex-boyfriend about it, got some lies, got some tomfoolery, and now the relationship can't be the same. Now the trust is gone, and my radical self-respect suggestion would be for him to walk away. But moving forward, I would tell him this. You know, date, go have fun, spin some plates, as they call it in the red pill world, and don't be the first person to ask for commitment again perhaps for reasons like this, because we don't fully know someone yet after only a month or so. 
People have yet to show their true selves. They could be wearing a mask. They could be pretending to be someone they're not. Maybe they're narcissistic. Who knows? But a good relationship will take a little bit of time, right? And it's going to take work, too. Like, it takes work and effort to build a great connection. And it takes time. It can't be rushed. And so I'd say, you know, you date and have fun and let the woman come to you more and see if that goes better. And in regards to dealing with lies in relationships, that's a no-brainer. You're done. Lying in relationships, that's a deal breaker. Because if you can't trust your partner, what can you do? And what happens here, though, is when someone really cares, they want to look past these things. They want to look past so they can stay because, you know, they love this person probably. They got an emotional attachment to this person. And so they want to look past it. They want to ignore the red flags. But ultimately, the radical self-respect way is you can't. You can't look past those red flags because the red flags you ignore will be the reasons why the relationship ends later. And so we got to walk away because you better believe if you let something like this go, there's just going to be other things down the line. And who knows what else she could be lying about because chances are if you lie about one thing, maybe you've lied about many things. Who knows? And maybe he had a bad gut feeling because... She was hooking up with other people too, perhaps. I don't know. Whatever that gut feeling is, something stirred it. Something stirred it in him. Maybe something she was doing, but not a good sign. So those are my radical self-respect suggestions in this scenario. Please um, comment below what you think he should have done or what he should do. And I think he would appreciate the feedback. So with that, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.